it's Bite Size Media here at Bite Size Media. What? What? A subsidiary? We're, <laughs> we're watching Avatar, ladies and gentlemen. We are cooking our way through book number three. We are on episode seven. Seven of the season? Of the season. So a little under halfway. We are on episode The Runaway. Dun, 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 dun. Run. Dun, 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 dun. I wah, 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 wonder <laughs> why. You know that song, right? Del Shannon from Michigan, Coopersville. No. You don't know Del Shannon? No. You don't know the Runaway song? No. And I wonder where she will stay, my little runaway. Run, run, run. You don't know that song? I got Jake. From the 60s. I, I know about. what he's talking about. Yeah, he's from like Coopersville. I don't That's oh. like, really like the song. I, I like the if song. If I remember it correctly. Interesting. But yeah. But for the episode. Oh, Jared, we are two episodes away from your fate. Well, your second favorite one. What's the second favorite one of? <laughs> Nightmares and Dreamscapes. Nightmares and Daydreams. Sorry, Nightmares and Dream. Day, daydream. <laughs> Sorry, Nightmares and Dream Drop Distance. There you go. There you go. Sora's going to show up and say, hey, hey, Ong. Hey, Sora is oh. everywhere. Sora is Sora. Sora is life. But also, Sora, Sora is, is life. Not Sora. I'm getting a little Sora of this conversation, Dickie. Dude, I'm lost. <laughs> but I'm excited to watch today's episode. It's a very good one. Before we watch it, I don't really remember all that much about this episode. This is where I believe Toph to get money because they don't have money. I think cons people uses her blindness to con people or get something like that. I think this is the point where book three starts running downhill to try to resolve a bunch of left open conflict. Like I think this resolves Toph and Katara's relational conflict. The next one is like, well, the next one is the puppet master. So Ooh. that'll be a good one. But like, I think, I think this is where I would say, the first one where it starts running downhill after the, after figuring out how everything connects in the past. Okay, I see, I see, yeah. Cool. I don't remember hey, wait, liking no. this one when it aired. It's, I think, remember we have said how book three, there's the least amount of filler of the three books because it is go time. I would but say this is one of the more... Just like uh, I I, I don't the painted know that, lady, also it's one of the more episodic ones that it's a little bit of filter. I don't know that I'd filter clarify it. filler. <laughs> I don't know that I'd clarify it as that just because it does resolve the tough Katar attention. Yeah. But that can still filler can still do that, but it doesn't yeah, really do cool. much in the overall story that they've yeah, been telling. Okay, I, and okay. filler's not bad. It's just this one is more of a what happens this week to our heroes, whereas the next episode is. From what I know, a filler, but it's a very important one. And then the one after it is filler. And then we hit the big stuff in the middle of the season. So, like, we're in that middle chunk yeah, where dude, things... Because yeah. we, we we have quite the streak the going. Storm. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to fill. Like, how many episodes is this? 20 episodes? 21. 21. That's a, well, that's a lot. Because the, finale, fill, the so. finale is cut into four. Yeah. So, that's why. So Let's see if it's cut into four on Paramount. Yeah, I wonder because remember uh, it's in not. Book, yeah, in book two, remember we had. Uh, Are you kidding? So the finale is all like the finale. Well, they aired it as one. Is I, is I, just I saw it live episode season three episode sixteen Susan's comet. Yep. Oh. So that's gonna be like a two hour epic, right? It was two oh. hours, right? It was four yeah. episodes. Yeah, yeah, because four half hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's a movie. Well, I'm excited to get to the finale, but not yet. Today we're watching the Runaway. Is this the sweat one? Did we say that? I think right? so. They, they're like in cages which when makes, they use their which sweat. Which makes sense. They get nice and sweaty. I hate, I hate that. That's what I'm I, I also I hate you. Why did you so. say it? You have know. to feel the saying before you say it so we <laughs> don't have to hear I it. Don't. Sometimes I don't. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's take a bite. This is Greg. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, we just watched season three, episode seven, The Runaway. And oh boy, I, I say this every time. I like this episode. This is a good episode. I really like the the Katara and Toph angle. I think they their relationship yep. really is flushed out in this. Yep. And again, it is filler, but filler people so have such a negative reaction to filler's not bad. Filler is no, neutral. There's still it's filler because the overall story doesn't move. Do you know why people but have this such is a where we negative reaction to filler? Anime, One Piece, and Naruto and Bleach, which are all 
Anime. Anime. Because usually for that, haven't we said filler is when they've caught up to the manga mm-hmm. and they just have to churn out or, episodes yeah, until or they're just them. not yeah oh. or they're there's just not they don't want to get too close they'll do that really mm-hmm. i didn't know that they'll create like whole show only seasons just i mean to give if you look time at for the manga to yeah if you look at something like baruto there's straight up like a division what? where i think it is it's like this in one piece too where it delineates from the original story and there's a show continuity and there's a manga continuity and the show will flip back and forth between the two based on when it needs to pause that's interesting i didn't know that and that's why for like dragon ball people have like ways to watch watch the show without the filler so Mm -hmm. instead of 300 and some episodes it's cut down to like what 150 Mm mm-hmm I don't remember what it's called. There's like specific names for it. Where it's like, hey, if if you here's the show, but if you don't want the filler, like the stuff, the non-canon stuff, because a lot of times it won't matter. Yeah. You, Same you thing with that. like the. This is going a step further, because oftentimes these are better. But like any anime movie, with the exception of probably Demon Slayer, takes place outside of the continuity. Of the anime, because huh. it, it like, is never referenced. Aren't there like that. twenty Dragon Ball movies for all the different series together? And I don't think any, if maybe few, are actual canon. Oh, I That's why sw- slice of life anime, I think, is I don't want to say more <coughs> popular, but works better for like filler because yes, there is an overall story, but because it's slice of life, it's easier to come up with an engaging. You can do character Episodic, stuff. Episodic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And because coming back to this, yeah, it's it's, it's character <clears throat> stuff. It's yeah. not. But at this, but then also at this point, I think they had had. They, I mean, they probably had this all written. Oh yeah. By then. And when you're looking at the order of this, like you have the first episode is everything that's happened in the last couple months, and then you have you the, the Fire Nation perspective of of the school. The Painted Lady is filler. Yeah. Then Sokka's Master's a big Sokka episode. Which is important. And then the beach is a big character episode, as we know. And then the Avatar of the Fire Lord is a big backstory. So we've had, like, heavy hitters. Mm-hmm. And now it's like, okay, the overall story of, you know, getting toward Day of the Black Sun and the invasion doesn't move much at all. No. But it's character stuff. It's still very but, important. And it's, I was gonna say, yeah. a lot of good moments, especially, like, the conversation that... Katara overheard like like between Toph and um, Sokka. Sokka. That's like, the highlight of the episode. That was such a good. That was really well written. That was really got. Like, and they, just, they understand their characters so well. Like I, I know people say that all the time, but it's like, you have a, a moment of vulnerability from Toph, and she instantly, one eighties out of the moment where she's you know because she's tearing up and wiping her eyes, and then she punches Sokka. You better not tell anyone. Yeah, it's that's just. Yeah, like you said, that's a good point. They, they and, know their characters. And it's a joke. It's funny, but it's well in characters. Like, yeah, she's tough on the outside, so of course she'd like she'd pull it back because she was being vulnerable. Mm-hmm. And it is, uh, and I, I like how uh, I, I was starting to think like, is there a moment where like Katara like references that when Toph didn't know she was there? It's like, do they do that here? I don't think they do, and they I don't. And I'm they glad they don't. Cause how many shows and movies do that where? They bring up something that's like, wait, you heard that? You know, and it gets. Oh, oh, all the time. I'm glad they left yeah. it as a no. Katara heard it, makes a, you know, tries to be different for the sake of this relationship. This, you know, this person that she wants to get along with. Mm-hmm. But then they turn, and then it's a plan that, of course, doesn't work out because they did of fly course. too close to the sun. Yeah. Mm. And, and, and everything, like all the, like the, the, the scamming the scammers bit, like the, the, there was so much fun having, like, in, like the gag the, with the paper. It sounds like a piece of paper. I'm. I, I, what is it? I assume you mean what's on the paper. I, I don't know. The big payoff for that is. The big payoff for that is. I can't believe we forgot Toph can't read. We're idiots. <laughs> We're idiots. <laughs> and then Katara sweat bends. Yeah. Her, their way out of that cage. So then I bring up something I brought up during book one. Does that mean people can bend vomit? Did we have yeah. an answer for that? I, I would assume yes. I think, the I think you guys yes. just stared at me and it was like, "Are you? Is this important?" I mean, because, yes. Look, if I'm look, throwing up and I want to clean it up, no, no, you no. Know, because look, I at, just look wanna, at it this way. Another one. Look at, look I'll at give it. Give you another one. What was she doing at the beginning of this episode? She was bending soup into Appa's 
Yeah. Mal. So you can so, also bend your own piss? Yes. That could get crazy. Eh, nope. So, so, <laughs> so, yeah, you, so it's like that would be very helpful. It's like you're, blah, right? Yeah. And let's say you miss the toilet. Just a quick. Let's say it's Dicky. He's had a little too much to drink and he misses the toilet. Happens. And then so, so Sam or so is like, Dicky. And he's like, one second. No worries. Ooh, and it goes you, you. like that, just like the soup, and right yeah. down into the toilet, and yeah. he flushes disgusting. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's completely disgusting. But it's it really work. funny. He's like, I may be I sick, but I'm clean. In other ways when he's drunk. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to, I'm gonna try to uh, blood bend myself and see how that works. We don't know what that is yet, Dicky. <laughs> right, so you're right. like, okay, I'm driving up. Just a second, and you like blood bend all the alcohol out of your <laughs> oh system. Oh my god! You hold it there. You drive when we get back home, and then you put it right yeah, back right. in. Oh my god! If I could do that, that'd be a game changer. Yeah, I don't think you'd get immediately sober though. No, if you, I, I'm not gonna. If we're if questioning the science of a of a of a, of a, of a, of a <laughs> fantasy show. You're questioning <laughs> the science of a fantasy made off of a fantasy. <laughs> I was just saying, like, how would you? Yeah, I mean, what if you could just, just here? Let me hold this. Yeah, just grab drive up. Okay, what? now I want to feel. It's good like that again. kid with the mercury in my school when I was graduating. He bent mercury. Did he drink mercury? It's a long story. Can we get the, spark the notes thermometer? Spark, spark notes is he's a teacher's aide for the middle school. Oh boy! And um, he, they were doing an experiment with. Mercury, but the kids weren't allowed to touch it. Oh, well, yeah, because it's. Anyway. No, he took it and they were had it in a ball and he brought it into the high school and they were playing catch with it in English class. <laughs> and it got all over the carpet and we just had gotten a new wing on the high school and he had to play. It was in the newspaper. It was like he had to pay like $120,000 to replace all the carpet and then they made all the seniors go like an extra two weeks because they had to give us like an extra like week like a week and a half off in the middle of the end of the gear because they had to clean all of this like oh mercury God. just gets everywhere and like and it's they toxic shut, right yeah yeah and they shut the whole thing down and they set up chemical showers outside and none you're of like, us knew what was happening at, and first. at first you're like hey week and a half no school and then you get to the end of the school term you're like okay this sucks yeah that, oh my god and your senior year right yeah so and you should have should have been done it you know, this point. No, no, no. This but, was the day we were going to be done. Oh. So that was like, God. you're right there. You're like, we really have to like go home for a I week th- and a half and then come um, back. I think we graduated and then had to go back for a week. I, would have been- <laughs> I think that that is how it, <laughs> I, I, so I don't remember. Don't, okay. It was, it was almost 18 years ago now. I don't remember it that well. I think that's how it worked out. It kind of works like at the community yeah. college I went to. They have commencement on a sunday but then because of the way it used to be lined up mo- that monday was the last day of the semester because labor day they wouldn't have school so they'd have an extra monday so you could graduate on sunday and then have to go to a class the next day and finish hmm. so it, it's i think it's they've well, rearranged it now same I, thing with, actually grand valley just did the same thing during the winter months yeah, yeah it's just I, funny how that works yeah. you graduate I, then you're still not done I, I hated graduating from grand valley in the winter months I, I did graduated in the fall semester of 2010. Um, I, I graduated, and then I had to go through finals That's, week. Same but, sister, just do the same but thing, yeah. When you graduate and then have to go through finals, you lose your oh God, motivation you to do anything. I have super senioritis. I wouldn't even give two flies. And... No, I was literally going through my transcript like, okay, if I do, if I, if I just don't do that final i'm still gonna end up with a b i'm gonna be good on that one i have to do i do have to do this paper but i can just email it and tell my teacher that i'm just not gonna show up anyway back to the episode that got a long um i this is spoilers for cora um i cora always is the avatar that's our spoiler <laughs> I always remember wanting episode. more lore for Sparky Sparky Boom Man. Uh, you like, I little just, bit, I bit. just want to know. Like, no, I'm actually being serious. I wanted to know what that was about. I mean, like, it, why it's do they never an- do they ever no they never it? answer it, but then they bring it up again in Cora and don't answer it because it's a different person who has the same ability. And I think, and well, it was his wife. 
or beloved or whatever she was. To yeah, him. whatever. It, it, We've talked. I think we talked about her as well just recently. But like, know? but like, I feel like if you're gonna bring it back up again, you kind of gotta answer something. Yeah, like you gotta get. You gotta give me something. If you're gonna bring it up, that's valid. Yeah. It's like we, we're told how all the other bendings work. So it's like, how does this one work? Because it's fire bending. But is it? Yeah, it's fire. It's definitely fire bending. But it's like it's through a hole in their head. Because it's like a tattoo of an eye. I don't think it's an actual eye, but but you know what I'm saying. Like, if everything else is explained already, we kind of have to, or it should get some kind of explanation. Or it's fine the way it is. It, it I, yeah, is kinda... it's, and, and it's not like it's like I hate this show because of it, or the episode is lesser because of it. It's just, it's just something to know. Something I wanted. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's it's the fun episode too. I what did we what did we say? The you know, filler episodes tend to be the funniest ones. Yeah, because you, know, you don't have to worry about like the anxiety and the stress about the main anxiety. Hey. Do you know what would be really awesome if a Sparky Sparky Boom Man spinoff movie? Yes. I mean, he doesn't it. talk at all. <laughs> it's a silent. It's movie. It's Willy's Wonderland all over again, um, but with Sparky Sparky, Sparky blowing Boom Man around. blowing up. Five Night at Freddy's, the rip-off machines, and that. drinking soda. I totally watch that. Um, no, I was going to say if, like, I don't know. How old's the show now? When did it air? 2004 to 06 or something like yeah, that. It was 05 to 08, I think. We're pushing 20 years. So maybe for, like, 20-year anniversary, they just released the show Bible for it. Ooh. That would be fun. Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun if like more shows did that on an anniversary when they're like done with the show? Yeah, so of course, not, like, but they're not done. They're, they have all a bunch of projects. Well, you never know they, what they're going to recycle. Yeah, but that's, a, that's a special circumstance. How many how many shows pick back up with a whole entire dedicated studio fifteen years later? That's true. Which means they're that, that show bio. They might have ideas in there that they, they haven't used sure. yet. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. But it, I th- I think it would, but like it'd be a cool idea if like Seinfeld released one or something like that or Friends or especially with the passing of Matthew Perry. What's yeah. his face? Matthew Perry. That would be interesting. I just that type of thing interests me. Oh, I I, I would totally buy it. Well, you said you said the L word. Lore. lore. <laughs> because that's Dickie's favorite word. I like lore. What can I say? Anyway, anything else about this episode? And we're just getting it's, closer it's to the middle of the season, big two-parter. And, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We had some good, fun times. And, yes, next week we're going to do episode eight, which is titled – Jared hit me with the title. It's the Puppet Master. The Puppet Master. That's right. Oh, it's I a fun episode. Can't that's wait. the one they always used to show at Halloween. I wonder why. I wonder why. Don't but know. until we watch next week's episode, where can the good people find us online? Jared. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and the funny TikTok, and X. And you can listen to us on Apple, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and hey, if it's YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, ring our bell, make sure you rate and like us on all those other apps, and hey, check out our groovy website. Absolutely. So yes, like I said, stay tuned. Next week we're talking about Season 3, Episode 8, right? Yes. Okay. The Puppeteer. <laughs> Oh, puppet, puppet master. master. Puppet master. I was so close. You just said it. So yeah, check check out. And until then, we'll see you next week. But until then, anything on Thursday, you want to take a bite. <laughs>